in this video we are going to debunk the myths four myths about money that our children have what are those beliefs that our children have that are not really true and they will not know the truth if we don't teach them number one money is infinite money has no end so our children do not understand the fact that once you have let's say 200 shillings if you use the 200 shillings you really don't have any more so you have you have a responsibility as the parent as you as a guardian to teach your child that money is finite money has an end if for example you take your child to the supermarket and uh, you give them 50 shillings to spend once they've picked an item let's say they've decided they're going to buy a box you know a box of biscuits and the biscuits cost 50 shillings that they really don't have any other money to spend it becomes a very important lesson so that they don't imagine that there's always money to spend for anything that they want okay um number two see it like it buy it now our children because of not knowing they imagine that every time they see something nice and they like it they have to buy it so they don't have the concept of delayed gratification that you can actually wait for something even if you like it very much you can wait for something and not buy it immediately so teach them delayed gratification that yes you've gone to the supermarket yes you've seen um, what a pair of shoes that they really really like do they have to get it at that particular time okay number three items cost the same no matter where you buy them so of course they do not have the concept of comparing prices and this we teach them in the lead child the importance of comparing prices that just don't just go to a particular for example a supermarket and decide i'm going to get uh, you know chips from this place or or a box of uh, candy from this place and it is okay so it is important for us to know the the need of teaching our children to compare prices now i'll give you an example there was a time uh, we went uh, somewhere with our children now we had gone for lunch and when we got there we found a swimming pool and of course our kids uh, love to swim and they were like mommy why can't we swim and they said okay let's find out how much swimming is and when we went to ask they told us swimming cost 2500 per child imagine how crazy that is and of course the girls did not understand that i mean seriously how can we spend that much money for swimming so 2000 per child and um uh, the, I have two daughters, so 5,000, and then it was 5,000 for, for an adult. So if the three of us decided to swim, it was going to cost 10,000. And the children were like, uh, yes, I mean, let's swim. And in fact, we had not even carried swimming costumes, and they were like, can we buy the swimming costume? So we started teaching them the idea of comparing prices because there's a place where we could go where they could swim for 500 shillings imagine so it's an important lesson debunk that myth that they anytime they go somewhere they can buy that thing at that particular place now number four you don't need to worry about saving until you're older now saving is one of the most difficult lessons that we have to learn even as adults imagine training your children as young as they are from seven eight nine that saving is an important thing now in the previous video we've talked about four rules of handling money and rule number three is about saving so start training your children about saving that whatever money they get even if it's 50 shillings teach them not to use everything 100 percent of what they have teach them to be putting money aside for future for future for for bigger purchases where they are concerned or even just to have money on the side so there you have it four myths that our children have where money is concerned